And tonight, federal investigators are delving into Crook's history. He's being described as a highly intelligent loner who somehow had a secret plan to kill the former president. Police say they found suspected bomb making material in Crook's car and evacuated two square blocks in Bethel Park while searching his parents home. That's where we find KDKA lead investigator Andy Sheehan, who shares what he's found out about the would be assassin. And Andy, what can you tell us? Well, Erica, news that Thomas Crook was behind this assassination attempt comes as a shock to this quiet Bethel Park neighborhood. Tonight, he remains a puzzle to federal investigators and his former classmates. Thomas Crooks. To a... you, you listen, listen. Did you, did you hear that? that... Wasn't enough of an applause. This guy could be something that we don't want him to be in the future, y'all. When he turned 20, 21 years old, he gonna be sitting on top of a roof. That applause was not enough of an applause, and so those are the ones that I watch. I don't watch the loud ones, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't watch the people that's, that's shucking and jiving, that's doing a whole lot, or saying what they going to do to you before they do it to you. Hold me back. Hold me back. That ain't the one that I'm looking at. I'm trying to pay attention to understand what the quiet one in the back is doing. Hey, what are he doing? Why is his hand still in his pockets? Why he keep playing Pokemon when he 50? Why do he keep being on all of these internet sites that he's not supposed to be on? Hey, check his, check his private search history. Is he on the dark web all the time? He not just awkward. Listen, the awkward ones are the ones that I want to pay attention to. Don't just say, oh, I'm a loner. I'm just looking for my community. Nope. I want to know who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it and why you keep watching the same movie every single day since he was five years old. Smattering of applause, Thomas Matthew Crooks, who failed in his assassination attempt on former President Trump, is seen here graduating from Bethel Park High School two years ago. News of his brazen act comes as a shock to his former classmates. Anyone who knew him, close or not, it was just not something that we would have ever seen coming. Lies. Described as a highly intelligent student who excelled in advanced placement classes in both history and math, former classmate Summer Barkley said he was quiet, kept to himself, but was always with the ready answer. I like to befriend these type of people. You know, y'all was always getting caught up with trying to make sure that y'all friends was the Neanderthal, the one that we already knew was going to be running the tackle and left, right, left. All of the loud ones, they was cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with them in particular. But I wanted the ones that could do your homework, the ones that could help you with calculus classes, AP calculus, advanced math. I wanted the person that wasn't nobody paying attention to. Those were the ones that I rock with, honest to God. Those were the ones that I rock with. I always show love to those type of people. Hey, man, what y'all got going on in the basement? When you would go down to the student union, a lot of people are familiar with the student union. You, st most student unions on most campuses got multiple different levels. My first semester at U of D, not the private school, but I did a semester at U of D to college before I transferred over and I went to somewhere else because it was a private school. It was costing too much money. I didn't want to pay that much in student loans. I wasn't willing to take out no student loans. I was chill. But in the student union at U of D, when you would go on campus or at Wayne State, a lot of y'all might be familiar with Wayne State, there were sections and pockets in certain places and there were multiple different levels. And if you went to those different levels, a lot of times you could see that the cool kids was up there playing pool, get they, 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 uh, they work study check, they gonna go and the Neanderthals is gonna go and they gonna go and blow their work study check on getting fresh because it's Friday night, they ain't gonna pay off their student loans, they ain't gonna do none of that. They're going to take their work study check, go get fresh so that they can hit campus and they're going to be broke. They're going to have 50 cent cent in their pocket, but they're going to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? And in a different pocket of the student union, you would have a whole nother type of person. And those were the ones, I hate to say it, listen, don't get mad at me, but they always do this. They always play Dungeons and Dragons. And I never understood the game, and maybe I was one of the Neanderthals to them because I was a lifetime C student, but they was always in the corner, ha, gotcha. 
who double double card on you. And they wasn't playing spades. They wasn't playing Uno. They wasn't shooting dice. That was where all of the Neanderthals that we was hanging with was out doing. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't going to the games. They was quiet. They was studying. And then they was playing Dungeons and Dragons and Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever, trying to catch them all. Catch them all. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't have money. And you know what I'm saying? They was poor like the rest of us. But those were the ones that I was rocking with. Those were the people that I then defended. Hey, man, what's happening, bro? Hey, you want to come and get some lunch, bro? Hey, can I sit with y'all? And you got to befriend these people because, A, they're smart, and they may just need some, some, some type of love in order to help them to bring out their shell. B, they do have some coolness to them. They do have personality. They're they, they human beings just like everybody else. And C, you want to be on their side just in case, just in case later on in the future, if they decided that they want to go and – Go into a school or something like that, right? Hey, man, I loved you. You want to make sure that you got that trump card. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey. That's Anton. He always loved me. He always showed me love. He never judged me. He always sat at our lunch table. He always came through. Not always, but most of the time he would come through and he would make sure that he would speak to everybody. That's Anton. He cool. Let him go. It's always them. They always fit the description. Always fit the description, bro. Everyone kind of knew him. Y'all don't like that stereotype? We all got a stereotype. Everybody, look, when you go, okay, let me ask you a question since y'all don't believe in stereotypes. Let me ask y'all a question if y'all don't believe in stereotypes. Because you know I'm telling the truth. And because I'm the person that says the, the quiet thing out loud, the thing that everybody don't want to talk about. Because I'm the person that says the quiet thing out loud, then they want to say, oh, you stereotyping. We all stereotype. That's how we stay alive. Look, if you drive through a neighborhood and it just so happened to start being less and less houses on that street and you see people that are standing in the street and they shooting basketball and they got do-rags on their head and their pants are sagging all the way to their bottoms and it don't look like they actually live in a house that they're standing in front of, it's probably a crack house, a bando, right? You got to keep your head on a swivel, big dog. And so it's always a type. Don't you know that that's what they do in the FBI? The Behavioral Sciences Unit? You ain't never seen uh, <laughs> you ain't never seen SVU and all of that stuff? Don't you, have you ever seen Manhunter on Netflix where they basically highlight and they start to document and pay attention to who the serial killers are by talking to serial killers and the serial killers is helping the FBI catch all of the people that serial killers? It's the only way that they was ever going to catch the serial killers? The goal is to make sure that we could preventatively highlight who's going to do what. And so I'm keenly aware. Hey, man, if they standing in front of a house that ain't got no front door, that ain't their house, that's where they selling crack out of. I'm not going to ask them if they need their roof changed because I'm doing door-to-door -door sales and I'm trying to sell a Kirby vacuum. I'm going to avoid that house. Stereotyping keeps you alive. Don't tell me not to stereotype. I'm 100% going to profile. See, oh, Okay, let me let me change it. It's profiling, not stereotype. That's what allows for us to be able to have an uncomfortable conversation. Okay, I get it, I get it. Let's get into it. Let's learn more about the shooter. I was the kid that knew everything. So everything, we would always joke, say, I bet Thomas knows the answer to this question. If we don't, Thomas knows it. Like, you could look at him and you would be like, something's a little off. So Barkley said Crooks did have Oh, so when he said it, it was cool. When he said it, because he over there hanging out in the Hamptons is cool. But if I say it, oh my God, you're stereotyping. No, I'm trying to keep you alive. I'm trying to make sure our president don't get shot in his ear. He said it. He said, listen, man, I looked at him. I said, ah, something might be a little off about him. Uh, I bet Thomas knows the answer to this question. If we don't, Thomas knows it. Like you could look at him and you would be like, something's a little off. So because he said it is profiling, because I say it is stereotyping. When he said it is profiling, but when I say it is stereotyping. Y'all judging me. Y'all judging me. Though Barkley said Crooks did have a few friends, others described him as a loner with an odd demeanor who was picked on by other students. See? Keep on picking on him. Keep on picking. I'm not picking on nobody. Only thing I pick on is the people that be bothering the people in the streets keep calling everybody Esau. You know what I'm saying? 
you going to hell. Okay, so what you got? Why do you keep telling them? Hebrew Israelites always telling somebody they're going to hell, that they guarantee is going to hell. Okay, so why are you telling them? You ain't got nothing better to do. You know he going to hell. If you know it for a fact that just because he a white man and you call him Esau, if you know that he's going to hell, why do you feel compelled to stand on the corner and tell him? Why don't you just let him go hell? He going anyway, right? It ain't nothing you can do to save him. So you're not solutions based. Right? No. Stop picking on people. You'll live longer. If you stop picking on people, you'll live longer. He did sit alone at lunch. Like he was, he was always alone. I mean, he was bullied every day. Crooks is the son of Matthew. So let me, let me ask y'all a question. Cause I don't, just one thing. I'm gonna let this finish playing. This man is on here telling the truth. They say he was bullied every single day. He was bullied every single day. Okay. All right. All right. So let's, let's get to the thick of it. Let's get into the thick of it. My question, because I absolutely think that they should have took him out, and there's no reason, and I'm going to read that cash app and these super chat shortly, there's no reason for anybody to try to take somebody else's life. Here's my question. What role do we as a society play in creating the very monsters that then perpetuate a lot of these crimes? What role do we play and creating the monsters, because we all know, listen, now it ain't stereotyping, because you remember, guess what? All of us went to high school, except for your Neanderthal drug dealer that dropped out and said, I'm going to come back and get my GD. How many of us have all encountered, or it may be some of y'all in the chat that was in this position. How many of us have encountered the kid that always got bullied? And then secretly within ourselves, we worried about whether or not that dude is going to snap one day. Because it's only so much you can take. It's only so much he can take. And so he need a soft hand. He need a friend. He needs somebody to hold him down. Hey, man, listen. Hey, man, y'all leave him alone, bro. He cool. He ain't bothering none of y'all. Let him do his thing, man. Y'all so corny for that. Y'all always trying to pick on somebody. Because you ain't got nothing better to do. You mad because he got a better grade in his class than you and you an idiot than a then the, the, the person that's getting picked on goes, like, <laughs> yep, yep. He just need a little bit of a confidence boost. He just need a little bit of a friend. Every one of y'all little women, you couldn't give them a little bit of box. You couldn't tell them, oh, no, you cute. Can we be friends? You couldn't do none of that. You just had to keep on, ugh, I ain't never talking to you. Why would you come up to me? Did you play a role in creating the monster? that now tried to kill the president of the United States of America, each and every individual one of y'all. Did y'all play a role? Huh? Huh? All you got to do is be nice to him. Hey, what's going on? Try to, listen, he'll be happy to let you copy off of his homework. I promise you. He'll be happy to be able to go and, and play Xbox with you. You ain't even got to go to his house. You could just go ahead and link up PS5, Xbox, whatever. Show some love. Be nice to people. Not saying that that was going to prevent him from doing what he's going to do and uh, not also not taking away from the fact that he got to be responsible for what it is that he is. But ultimately, a lot of times we see a lot of these people in society and we, we neglect them and we shun them and we profile them, but we don't make an adjustment in order to accommodate them. And so y'all got to be nice to people because this dude could absolutely snap one day. He don't feel like he got nothing to lose. Hey, man, I might get taken out anyway. I might as well go and do something that I'm not supposed to do and make a name for myself. This is how I can finally be recognized. Is that stereotyping too? He was always alone. I mean, he was bullied every day. Crooks is the son of Matthew and Mary Crooks here in this middle-class neighborhood in Bethel Park. State records show both parents are licensed behavioral counselors. Matthew works nearby at Community Idiots. Care Behavioral Health, a subsidiary of UPM. How are you going to have a kid that's off the hinges, but both of y'all work in behavioral counseling? That just shows you that therapy is a scam. <laughs> therapy is a scam. A lot of y'all keep going to therapy every day because I, you know, I got to make sure that I can get my thoughts off. But then they can't even can get control of their own kids inside of their household. You go and question them. Well, we didn't know that he was in a space to where eventually he could go and get on a roof and try to kill a president of the United States of America. But yet y'all over here sending y'all kids to him. Y'all go to him. Behavioral health counseling, they the ones that's determined. They got a kid that they can't even fix inside of their own household. But then at the same time, they over here giving y'all therapy and trying to fix y'all. This is why therapy in a lot of instances, I only know one therapist. Shout out to Ray Sean. 
I only know one therapist in my life that's good. All the rest of these people, they stealing money and they finessing y'all. MC Health Plan. Despite his academic achievements, Barkley said after graduation, Thomas Crooks did not go away to college and instead stayed home, living with his parents and enrolled in the Community College of Allegheny County. Sources say federal law enforcement is investigating his mental health history and emotional state leading up to the shooting. Go and talk to his parents. Shooting. The FBI confirms it was Matthew Crooks who legally purchased the AR-15 style semi-automatic rifle his son used in the attack, which wounded the former president, killed an attendee, and critically wounded two others. Another student tells CBS News as a freshman, Thomas Crooks unsuccessfully tried out for the rifle team at the high school, but did not make it for being a poor shot. Thank God. Other students tell us Crooks had a keen interest in history and government affairs, but did not display overt political feelings. According to Pennsylvania voter records, he was a registered Republican. But there is also this Federal Campaign Commission record of a 2021 donation giving $15 to Act Blue, a progressive political action committee which funds left-leaning Democratic candidates. Mmm, a mole. Somebody that registered as a Republican in order to vote against the person that they think is going to be the Republican nominee or influence whatever it is that they do in order to get the weakest candidate in, into the Republican, um, you know, into the Republican National Convention as the nominee so that the liberals can then win. It's a finesse. They do it all the time. I've been to campaign rallies where they almost overtly but not directly tell people that are of one particular um, leaning to register as this on the other side in order to influence what is happening on there. Man, these political games is crazy, bro. His mother, Mary, is a registered Democrat, and his father, Matthew, is a libertarian. Of course Residents were evacuated last night when federal agents commenced the search of the house and have not been able to return. No, and my wallet and everything is in my house, so I've been driving around with this dog all night. Now, this neighborhood has been evacuated and will be evacuated until further notice. Meanwhile, feather investigators are trying to put together the puzzle that is Thomas Crooks. I'll stay on top of this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to keep you all informed. You know what we do. If you want to stay informed and you want to be on the greatest morning show, you want to be a part of the greatest morning show in the world, make sure that y'all tap the subscribe button, hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel. We rocking out, y'all.